Okay, folks, MBS here. Uh, look, I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, do a product review on some diesel fuel injectors that I just purchased. Um, I've actually got a Toyota Coaster bus uh, with a 1HZ engine, so injectors turned out to be uh, stuff, so I thought I'd just buy a new set. Uh, I didn't get genuine, I went for cheap knockoffs. Okay, and unfortunately that has backfired and I'm now getting my injectors clean, but let's do a review on these injectors and why I knocked them back. But let's have a look at these suckers. I've got 10 to pick from, so I'll uh, test all 10 of them, not on video. Uh, I'll pick the best six and throw them in the bus, and uh, whew, that'll get me going. All right, here's one of the knockoffs. Check that out. Pretty cool, eh? That's on about 2,100 PSI. Knack it, eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, excellent. Alrighty, uh, look, a little bit of post-production uh, editing here. Uh, I've tested all the injectors. As you saw, that very first one, the one that I've showed you just before this clip, uh, they're all pretty much like that, at least five of them. Uh, so, yeah, look, I didn't get a pass rate. I couldn't even get six up and running to put in, into the bus. Uh, most unfortunate. Uh, but, yeah, not a great injector at all. Nothing. Horrible. Horrible. How do these people actually sell this crap? Um, look, I can't, I can't give you a part number. I can't give you a brand name because they're unbranded. Um, they're obviously overseas made. Uh, yeah, I think you know where. Um, so, look, the best I could probably do is throw a couple of insert pictures of what the ad look, sort of looked like because there are quite a few sellers selling the same injector. They're just copying each other's photos and they're doing very similar listings. So. Uh, they appear to be all exactly the same uh, brand, if I could say that, because they're, they're unbranded. Um, but I, I did see others that actually had the injector part number written on the, uh, the nut of the injector. Uh, so they're obviously a different company makes them. Um, uh, you know, might get a bit of bird noise because uh, we've got Laura Keats up in the tree here. Uh, so yeah, they may be different, they may be better, they were a little bit more expensive. Uh, these were, I think I've said before, under 90 bucks. Uh, nah, nah, so it's, it's a buyer beware when you get this cheap rubbish. You just don't know whether they're going to be any good. Now my advice would be, if, if you have to go that route, I mean, I just had, because of this test, I just went and got mine cleaned because uh, I wasn't chucking these in, no way in the world. Uh, so I, I paid the 570 bucks or whatever, and I got all the washers necessary to fit the injector. There's a little wafer washer, then there's the, a thick uh, solid copper washer, and then there's the return line washers. So you get all those with your injector clean, all included. Um, when you buy these injectors, of course, you don't get all those washers. You won't get the wafer washer. You'll get a return washer, and you'll get the um, washer that goes underneath the body, but it, in my case, that washer was way too thin, and the injector wouldn't have sealed anyway, uh, so I had to chuck it away. Um, but luckily I didn't, because I, I sent them all back, and uh, got my money back. Uh, so yeah, look, so it's a little bit unhelpful in the fact that I can't give you a brand name or anything like that, but uh, I think for the moral of the story is, don't buy cheap rubbish. You just don't know what you're going to get. Now, five out of 10 isn't a very good success rate. And uh, like I said, the, uh, the one and only uh, filming I did was the very first injector, and it was rubbish. And uh, obviously, I turned the camera off, I did the other nine, and uh, yeah, very similar results. I got five that eventually worked, um, sort of. Uh, they weren't too bad. Uh, now I've got to say, of course, um, I just didn't take them straight out of the box and put them in the tester. I did pump them about 10 to 20 times full at full rate uh, just to get the uh, fresh 
uh, fuel through them because um, they would have been filled with assembly loot. Uh, so I made sure I, uh, I primed them up and got them going first and then I did the proper testing. Uh, and as you saw it was, it was just crap and uh, <laughs> I had to have a bit of a giggle first off the rank and a uh, fail already. Um, but you get what, well, you don't get what you pay for <laughs> because I, I didn't even use them. Uh, but at the end of the day, look, there must be some good ones. Um, otherwise, why would you keep selling it? So, um, am I unlucky? Did I just get a bad bunch? Uh, don't know. But, that was enough for me to turn me right off buying the cheap injectors and uh, yeah, just went and spent the nearly $600 to uh, get mine cleaned. And I'll show you a, um, what my new injector looks like. Um, it's got a brand new uh, nozzle and seat uh, inserted into the injector housing. Uh, so they're like brand new. All right, let's see what a clean injector now looks like. Pump him up. Get the pressure up. You can hear it chattering. The opening pressure is around about two, three. And uh, that's, I guess, what a, a good injector looks like. Yeah, so don't buy cheap crap. It's just not worth it. But like I was saying, if you do get them tested or spend 120 bucks get one of these injector testers and do it yourself it's going to cost you nearly a hundred dollars probably to get yours tested anyway so you, you might as well do it yourself and when you're done with this thing just put it back on ebay and sell it for half price or something and you've saved yourself some money um nothing more i can add really i don't think um that's my product review for these El Cheapo uh, knockoffs, um, 1HZ injectors, and fail miserably. Uh, so, yeah, have a good one. Uh, I'll see you around in another video.